There aren't enough pain specialists to handle all the patients in the country who need the help. Primary care physicians must play an increasing role, according to pain specialists. How to get primary care docs comfortable with this? Programs like ECHO out of New Mexico are being cloned across the country and seem to help. The key difference between Project ECHO and other telemedicine is that regular telemedicine overcomes a geographic divide between a specialist and a patient. And so if a patient is living 200 miles away, a specialist can see him by using a high definition camera. But in regular telemedicine, there is no increase in total system capacity because the regular, the specialist, instead of seeing a patient in his office, sees another patient in a, ru in a rural area. So there is an, if there is an absolute shortage of specialists in an area like chronic pain, you don't get that excess capacity. Whereas the principal goal of Project ECHO is what we call force multiplication. We want to increase the capacity to provide chronic pain care 10 times or more. And so what we do in uh, Project ECHO is we train primary care clinicians to become experts on a, on a video conferencing based knowledge network. And the net result is the overall capacity in the community goes up dramatically. So we started for hepatitis C because in my clinic at the University of New Mexico in 2003, there was an eight month wait to see me and patients would be driving 200, 250 miles. And if I had to treat one patient of hepatitis C, I could, may have to see him 12 to 18 times. So this was just not doable for poor patients. Now that wait is down to about two weeks. And we have 21 centers of excellence for treating hepatitis C all over New Mexico. People can get access to treatment very close to where they live. Once hepatitis C was successful, primary care clinicians came to us and said, look, we would like to do it for other diseases too. So we started one in chronic pain, we started one on addiction and psychiatry, started one in asthma, in rheumatology consultation, HIV, and many, many more. In urban areas, there is as much lack of specialty care as there is in rural areas. So for example, in the south side of Chicago, there are 800,000 African Americans living in a very sh small geographic area. They're less than two miles away from the University of Chicago, but the access to care is, is poor because there isn't a capacity in these universities to take care of them. And um, so we have set up um, in partnership with the University of Chicago, they have um, established um, uh, ECHO program in the south side of Chicago where they manage African American patients who have very difficult to treat hypertension in their primary care practices.